that feels good for you. <sighs> Beautiful. And if you feel to shake it out a bit, maybe maybe you just woke up and you feel your body needs some extra movement. Oh, so you can sigh a few more times. See if you maybe want to stretch or yawn or whatever feels good for you. You can relax your face, soften your eyes, oh, maybe your jaws need some oh, extra, an extra reminder to relax and open up. Oh. If it, is, if it is, is okay for you, just close your eyes. <sighs> and just simply notice what is going on for you in this moment. What thoughts, what feelings did you bring to this session? Can you allow all of them to, to be welcome, to be here with us? Knowing that all of them are helpful for our time together. So welcome them, give them all a seat, even maybe the tension or the sadness, the, the fear. Can you welcome, welcome them as well? And if it feels a bit difficult to welcome them, just give them a big sigh, not to make them go away, but to invite them and say, come on, have a seat. You there, discomfort, you're welcome to grab a seat. over any thought of what we what we thought we had to do or should know to be able to do this session just remember that all we had to do is show up and I always say that the only requirement to join a voice liberation session has nothing to do with having a good voice, but it has all to do with your willingness to have peace of mind. So let's remember that that is really and truly the only requirement to, to be here. And even if that's not here, a willingness to be willing to have peace of mind <laughs> is also enough. <sighs> so just keep noticing where are your thoughts going to just give them the space to be nothing needs to be different in this moment ah, see if you can relax your shoulders maybe sink a little bit deeper in your chair ah, 
truly knowing that just you being here right now is all you had to do. You're fulfilling your function perfectly just by being here right now. Then we'll go into a few rounds of seeing if there's anything that wants to be sounded, wants to be expressed in this moment. Maybe if there are feelings of tension or worries, or maybe there's just joy and you can allow that to be expressed. You can join me through your voice, just whatever sound wants to come up. And if you want to stay silent, that's perfect as well. And you can just stay in this meditative space. But if you want to join me, we'll start expanding that sigh a little bit. Everything totally relaxed, no strain. It's as if you're just inhaling on whatever is present for you. And on the exhale, you're just releasing it through your breath, through your sounds, in whatever way comes up for you. So you don't need to think about it. You can't do it wrong at all. Whatever comes up is perfect. See if your body still needs some extra movement to wake up as well. If it feels better for you to stand, that's perfect. So just see if you can expand those sighs a bit. Oh, oh. Maybe you like to make some weird sounds like oh, shake it out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Good, I see Kirsten. <laughs> Good, Kirsten. <laughs> and see if you can expand those sighs a bit more and go into a tone that feels very low and comfortable for you. Very relaxed. No effort. give it space and if you don't feel you can make it make a sound just give it space within yourself just see yourself opening up from within welcoming everything that wants to come up to the surface your jaw. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
whatever thought comes up. So even if there's a thought like, oh, I sound so ugly or oh, I can't do this, then oh, just see how that sounds. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let it be. big size oh. if you want to shake it out again mm. we remember that we don't have to do this alone and that the spirit is guiding us every step of the way Really, all she need us, needs of us is the willingness, the willingness for peace. So you can see yourself just fully handing over yourself, this session, your voice into the hands of the spirit. Just taking a step back, and letting the spirit lead the way for us. more big size. At the end of the session, I'll open it up. I now feel since the time really flies to continue, um, but at the last like maybe 10 minutes or so, I'll open it up for you to share or ask questions. Um, but for now, I wanted to dive right into it. When Andreas asked me the title for this session, um, I never really know, but I'm always happy that the spirit um, inspires me and give me, gives me something. And I already totally forgot about it until our opening. I saw it somewhere on the, on the schedule and I was like, oh yeah, that's the title that I, <laughs> that I told, uh, Andreas to, uh, to put down, liberate your past. And it felt, yeah, it felt so deep. And I went into it and, um, yeah, I looked at lesson 110 for our session today, which is the lesson, I am as God created me. And this lesson, st lesson talks about what it means to accept the atonement, like what that actually means. That accepting this idea, I am as God created me, is 
accepting the atonement is undoing the past. Because time only exists in our belief in separation. And separation only exists in our belief in time. And to undo time, all that is really asked of us is to remember that who we truly are is eternal, is perfect love, is still innocent, and is not bound to time. And only in time are we, quote unquote, guilty. And that's why the atonement is not asking of us to really look at you know, our, our guilt in time and, and then trying to release it, just like it's not asking us to look at the errors of our brothers and then forgive it. It's really saying like your guiltlessness is not set in time, but in eternity. And it is said by this lesson, I am as God created me. And I'll just read a little part from the beginning. Um, for the translator, I'll, I'll start at the second sentence. It says, for this one thought, so the thought that I am as God created me, this one thought would be enough to save you and the world if you believed that it is true. Its truth would mean that you have made no changes in yourself that have reality. Nor changed the universe so that what God created was replaced by fear and evil, misery and death. If you remain as God created you, fear has no meaning. Evil is not real and misery and death do not exist. Today's idea is there for all you need to let complete correction heal your mind and give you perfect vision that will heal all the mistakes that any mind has made at any time or place. It is enough to heal the past and make the future free. It is enough to let the present be accepted as it is. It is enough to let time be the means for all the world to learn escape from time and every change that time appears to bring in passing by. And I'll just skip a part and go to the fourth paragraph. In this one thought is all the past undone, the present safe to quietly extend into a timeless future. If you are as God created you, then there has been no separation of your mind from his, no split between your mind and other minds, and only unity within your own. The healing power of today's idea is limitless. It is the birthplace of all miracles, the great restorer of the truth to the awareness of the world. Practice today's idea with gratitude. This is the truth that comes to set you free. This is the truth that God has promised you. This is the word in which all sorrow ends. I am as God created me. So why is it so hard for us to accept, truly accept this idea? Because <laughs> it seems so easy, right? It's like, oh, just accept this idea and then phew, you're just fully healed. So why don't we, don't we just do that right here, right now? Why don't we just accept I am as God created me? So we can intellectually, of course, repeat this and say, Yes, I am as God created me. But as the Course also says, it's our task to look for the barriers within ourselves that we have placed 
against the love that we are. It's the barriers that we have placed inside of us against this idea, ag against the truth of this idea. These barriers are saying, no, 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 we're not, <laughs> we're not gonna let this in. And why? It's because we have identified ourselves with the ego. We believe that the ego is part of us. And the Course describes also somewhere it, it, it compares it to how animals um, really protect their cubs, you know, their babies, because they believe that these babies are, are part of them. And just like that, we protect the ego because we believe that the ego is part of us. And so ideas like this, which, <laughs> which we unconsciously know is basically the end of the ego, which totally would transcend the ego and would have, would completely just transcend the whole belief in time and space and the belief in the ego, which, which it really and truly all that the ego is, it's just a belief. Um, we unconsciously know that and that's why we resist to fully accept the idea that I am as God created me. And this is what it means to accept the atonement, is to accept that only love is real, is to accept that I am as God created me and bit by bit this will come into our minds the moment that we realize that it's not a sacrifice to accept this idea. Because that's what the ego is telling us, that don't, you know, don't get into that. Don't get to the other side. I'm your friend. If people know, maybe uh, one of my favorite movies with this is um, Revolver. I don't know if, you, if you've ever seen it. And it has this beautiful elevator scene where you see the ego and 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 he's awakening to it and then the ego self tells him like you've been speaking to the other side i'm your friend i've been here all this time don't listen to them i am you <laughs> and he wakes up you know it's a beautiful scene and he says no you're not me i'm not the ego i am as god created me <sighs> Let's let out a big sigh for that one. <sighs> so the good thing I always want to remember is that we cannot fail in remembering this. So the Course keeps talking about, you know, you can procrastinate a lot, but you cannot fail. It's impossible that love will leave you behind. Because in truth, you know, we never left. That's why in the beginning of the course it says like the course is mandatory like only the time that you take it is your 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 free will you know and it's it doesn't mean that a course of miracles that everybody has to do a course of miracles at some time in their life but what the course is teaching everybody at some point in whatever life they have they'll they'll have to accept that because that's that's set in time so i always find that that's a for me a relief that you know we can rest in in knowing that we cannot fail and we can be happy learners the course talks about that you know we don't have to feel guilty for learning <sighs> so in this session i want to travel with you together with the spirit to see if we can shine a light on some of those blocks that are blocking us from accepting this lesson, I am as God created me. So we're gonna travel together to the belief in guilt, the belief in that we are just simply not worthy of accepting the truth of this lesson. The ego that says you're so sinful, 
you know, God would never accept you back. It's better to keep running. It's better to keep hiding. It's better to just, you know, make the most of it here and, you know, die, <laughs> basically. So let's let out one big sigh. And if it's okay for you, just close your eyes and go within. Picture the spirit just holding your hand or standing right beside you, just guiding you through this. And see if you can pull your attention inward by well for me often it helps to look between my eyebrows the point between my eyebrows and then sort of draw my my sight inward <sighs> so I am as God created me Let's allow, let's see what that lesson brings up inside of us. So see Look at all the seeming proof that your ego is giving you why this is not true or why you shouldn't bother with this sentence, this lesson. Look at the seeming proof it's giving you of why you are not still as God created you, but why you are in fact very guilty, very sinful, unworthy oh. it's probably giving you a long list of seeming proof find it hard to find this within yourself I'm sure you can easily find it in your husband <laughs> or your wife or your mother-in-law so if it's difficult to find the guilt within yourself just look at your neighbor see it <laughs> see it in him that's what they're there for Allow it to come up to the surface. Allow the spirit to shine her light on it. Uh, and if it feels okay for you, you can hand over your voice to this seeming proof of the ego, which is basically fear. It's the fear of not being good enough it's the fear of being left behind. It's the fear of being abandoned. It's the fear of not being worthy of God's love. It's the fear that we just messed it all up and that there's no way back home. See if you can allow your voice to sound this fear in whatever way feels good. So we can start again with those sighs and just expand them into whatever sound wants to come up. And again, if you just want to stay silent, just connect with my voice. I'm singing for you. 
my voice is your voice, truly. All minds are joined, so you're not missing out on anything. Whatever wants to come up. yourself with every tone that is being made as if you're handing over that tone into the hands of the spirit one block block by block just handing it over letting the light come out from underneath of it If your body feels to move along, just allow it. Maybe it starts to shake or whatever comes up, just allow it.
face the spirit is just so happy to receive all of your blocks like they're equally untrue whatever heavy proof the ego comes with that you're not worthy the spirit never needs to you know evaluate it or think about it or start an investigation to look at the proof of the ego <laughs> it's never gonna make a few calls to see you know if it's actually true the spirit knows that whatever the ego comes with is equally untrue and the spirit only sees one thing and that is your innocence your light the truth of who you are and that's why the Course says that light does not attack darkness. It just shines it away. Light and darkness cannot coexist. They cannot stand right next to each other. When the light has come, darkness just simply disappears. all that the spirit is asking of us is not to hide because whatever we hide spirit cannot shine its light upon it so let's end this with singing I am as God created me together you can sing it in your own way or just be silent and listen it's fine too and as we sing it see if you can really allow the truth of this seemingly simple sentence I am as God created me to really allow that to enter 
into our minds, deep into our minds, light up the roots <laughs> of our belief in guilt. <sighs> I am as God created me. I am as God created me. I am as God created me. the translation in German in the chat. I'll see if we can do it in German. I only know the Spanish. <laughs> I am still as God Polish. We got it in Polish. Let's try. Let's try. <laughs> let's try this. Woo! Okay, let's all try. Let's all try in Polish. Jestem taka jaka stworzyl mnie Bóg. How was that? Ah, in Greek, that's impossible for me. <laughs> you have to write it phonetically. <laughs> Is that phonetic, phonetically underneath of it? Amy opos o <laughs> and we have it in Spanish. Ich bin na, we for we, Gott me shoe. Oh, French, we got French. Je suis comme Dieu m'a créé. Je suis toujours comme Dieu, Dieu m'a créé. Oh, it's been a while, my French. It's been years. <laughs> well, and let's just open up our eyes and look at all of these beautiful faces in the gallery. And let's sing it for each other. Let's recognize our own innocence in all of these beautiful faces, remembering that 
as we see our brother, as we see our sister, we see ourselves. So let's sing it and recognize the Christ in each and every one here in this beautiful gallery. You are still as God. Dutch, of course. I totally forgot that I speak Dutch. <laughs> For the Dutch people. Je bent nog steeds zoals God jou heeft geschapen. I don't read the course in Dutch, so I don't even know if that's the right translation. <laughs> But uh, I think it is. <laughs> you are still As God created you. Let's let out just a few, a few sounds of liberation. big size if you want to shake it out <sighs> we thank ourselves for this willingness this courage to show up the courage to look within Thank you all so, 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 so much 